It's an unforgettable feeling walking through your new motorhome. Just the sights of the detail and craftsmanship, touching the surfaces and the smell of real wood and leather. It took a dedicated team of artisans hours and hours of hard work to get here. And it all starts with this. Our chassis come from a number of different manufacturers, Ford, Mercedes-Benz, Chevy, and Freightliner. The chassis is chosen based on the size and market for each product in a Thor lineup. Our engineers design the platform. The chassis is sent to an outside modifier who specializes in steelwork. The foundation is what everything rides on. It needs to be flat and square since the sidewalls and roof and floors are made to fit. Some chassis may be modified in a way that increases the overall wheelbase so the motorhome has optimal handling and storage capacity. Our engineers work diligently to design every motorhome structure with the best weight distribution possible, from the front axle to the rear axle, driver's side to passenger side. That's why we use horizontal steel trusses that support the weight. This also allows us to create storage solutions for every floor plan, be it pass-through storage or extremely large bay storage. Regardless of which motorhome you choose, the storage is set up to handle all of your belongings and durable enough to last the lifetime of the motorhome. Once the chassis is back from the modifier, the floor gets installed. The OSB decking is laid down and securely fastened to the frame. Notice the steel tubing? It runs the entire perimeter and throughout the structure of the floor. Not only does this lower the center of gravity, the results are a better ride and reduced overall road noise from the exterior of the motorhome. Here, the seatbelts are mounted. Did you know Thor Motor Coach pull tests the seatbelts to make sure our motorhomes are safe for you and your family? All of our motorhomes have pet and kid-friendly flooring options, meaning it is durable and easy to clean. This is how our residential vinyl flooring is installed. Take a look at how it's laid down from front to back before the cabinets are installed. This means no gapping, no cutting and pasting, and no peeled up edges. We also use hand laid porcelain tile flooring in some of our larger diesel models. We mount our tile on a hardy backer, resistant to moisture, mold, buckling and cracking, so your floor will last a lifetime. It's at this point another member of the crew installs the generator. Here comes the heavy lifting as the team puts the cabinets in place. All the cabinet work is installed before the sidewalls are attached and securely fastened into the floor. At Thor Motor Coach, all the cabinet construction is done in-house by people who know the coaches and the floor plans they are working on. The art of building cabinets in a motorhome is providing the same look and feel of what you have in your home, combined with the longevity and strength needed for an automotive application. Here's something else that sets Thor Motor Coach apart our beautiful handcrafted cabinet doors. Regardless of which model you choose, all cabinet doors are solid wood with a complementing stain to match the interior decor. Moving down the line, take a look at how we run our plumbing, electrical, and duct work. See how it is on top of the floor? We do this to make them accessible should you need service once the sidewalls are mounted. Taking it one step further, notice the two different colored water lines. Red is for hot water, blue is for cold. Some manufacturers use the same white colored line for hot and cold, making it nearly impossible to tell what's being worked on. We need our wire harnesses to have the same attention to detail. As some manufacturers use a one-size-fits-all mindset, ours are color-coded and designed for a specific floor plan, which is why we build our own harnesses in a state-of-the-art harness shop. This cuts down on weight and piles of extra wire, taking up precious cargo space. After the harness is built, it is quality tested. And this may be a small detail, but it is an important one. Our wire harnesses are connected together by locking pins. Using this method means it will be able to withstand the vibrations from the bumpiest highway or the rockiest trail. The electrical system is very similar to the one in your house, along with that of your car. You will find 110 volt breakers and 12 volt fuses. It's here the electrical system along with outlets, inverters, and converters are installed. When we install the furnace, the ducts are run to the areas where you want heat. And just like the plumbing and electrical, the duct work is run for easy access. Let's talk about sidewalls and how we build them at Thor Motor Coach. The sidewalls, along with the floor and roof, go through an intensive lamination process. 
After the aluminum frame is constructed, it is laid down and insulated with a low-density polystyrene foam. It is then hoisted onto the lamination table, where it is placed on flat sheets of fiberglass. Beads of glue are then run an inch apart down the entire surface. A fine mist of water is sprayed on the glue to activate it. The structure is then rolled into the lamination machine. Here, all the air is removed and pressure is applied. This causes all the surfaces to be vacuum bonded together, forming a strong, resilient structure. After the designated time, the structure is removed from the lamination bed and a team armed with routers moves in to cut out the spaces for windows, doors, and vents. It's time to take that laminated sidewall and attach it to the motorhome. The entire wall is now anchored in place. The slide wall is removed after the entire sidewall is set to ensure a perfect fit every time. That's because we build our slide rooms out of the exact piece of fiberglass wall it was cut from. We do this every time for every coach. What this means for you is it is always going to match and it is always going to fit. Before we reattach the slide wall, bigger pieces of furniture and appliances are set in place. After the slide out room is crafted, it is inserted back into the wall on a leveled coach before mounting. That way the wall stays square. It's time to raise the roof. Notice the shape? See how it's domed? This allows optimal water and debris runoff as you travel down your favorite road or when forging a new path. Before we put on the front cap, the one-piece windshield is installed to keep the cap square. The glass is installed just like in your car with a urethane adhesive. Now that it's shaping up to look like a motorhome, it is time to install the roof-mounted air conditioners, vents, and TV antennas. Many motorhomes will have four motor coaches HD Max exterior fiberglass with vinyl graphics, while others will be shipped off to the paint shop for a glossy coat of full body paint. At this point, it is time to install those comfortable sofas and theater seats along with other furniture and appliances. After the awnings and slide out toppers are installed, the motorhome is now ready to head out for a road test. This is an exhaustive drive down the country roads, highways, and through town to make sure the motorhome is roadworthy. Once back from the road, we rain test every unit to make sure everything is sealed and ready for the great outdoors. Finally, a stop in the audit building. Here, each unit is given a systems check. The coach is weighed and any imperfections are tagged for final repair before the motorhome is released to ship to a dealer near you. From here, our motorhomes head to you so you can build your own stories, create your own memories, and you can do it in a motorhome that's made to fit.